So let's jump into the first one, Barry. And what I'll do, I'll introduce it a little bit because I came up with these and, and because they worked for me in, in what I've learned from Barry over the years. So the you first can... one is a technology around hand to brain. <laughs> and this is to do with mind mapping as most of what we're going to be talking about is related to that. And Barry, what I found, and particularly thanks to you, when you started to open my eyes in the field of mind mapping, is that when you're drawing stuff on the piece of paper, um, you're literally writing it in your brain as well. So Barry, tell our viewers a little bit about how does that work? Uh, yes, it's uh, it, it's it's very interesting. It's this hand to brain thing is is something that not a lot of uh, memory people uh, think about or speak about. I mean, to memorize stuff, you don't have to do hand to brain. But what hand to brain does is it seems to um, open up a lot more uh, connections with, within the brain, and, and that's because that's the way the human brain has evolved. Um, once we started using tools, um, we have a very sophisticated link between our writing hand and uh, you know and and our, our brain, and so uh, by bringing the hand into learning situations, you're making it easier for the brain to retain absorb and retain information okay so you can memorize stuff without using the hand but the hand actually in my view it makes it a lot easier if you're bringing the hand in it's an extra device that we have that can make some good connections um, in in the in the brain so would you say that we're almost creating neurons in the brain when we're doing this stuff, you know, when we're writing. Well, we, we, we don't really know. And, of course, the, the thing is um, it's, not in, it's not possible to do the um, experiments. The, the, the neurons are very, very small. And, you know, even the most sophisticated scanning equipment that we currently have cannot see what's going on at an individual neuronal level. Um, we do have evidence in the Petri dish with neurons, which obviously is a completely different thing. But, you, you know, you can see how under certain circumstances, neurons are excited to make more connections. So it's almost sort of putting together stuff that, that we know to come to the conclusion that that is probably what's happening is that, uh, you know, whenever we're learning anything new, we have we are creating new connections and if we're bringing our hand into it as well as the the brain itself then probably we're creating even more connections absolutely and that that for me is you know the big thing here it's being able because i've used software in the past where i've created my maps and they've been quite useful but i've not always been able to remember what i've done there yeah. And when I actually do the drawing of my maps, I immediately start to remember what I've drawn. Mm. And it seems to be, you know, almost instant. So anyway. Uh, um, just one, uh, to add one other thing, uh, Professor uh, Ian McGilchrist, who wrote the book, The Master and His Emissary, uh, he's a, got a very interesting background. He's had about five careers, and his last career was in neuroscience. Um, and and he's written this 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 book. And basically, in that book, he's he's primarily studied mammals. And one of the things that he says is that the mammalian brain, the the left side of the brain in in, in general, is the one that helps us to um, that has the skills for focus. And he relates this to handedness um, in that for the brain to learn uh, principles, it has to grasp them. And so this is another example. It's a metaphorical term, if you like, but it seems to play out in real life is that 
that, you know, this is where the hand comes in to this equation because it's the hand that we use to grasp things. And it, it is in our language, isn't it, that, you know, have you grasped the idea? And, and so I think that's another little bit of evidence that hand to brain is quite an important phenomenon. Brilliant. Brilliant. So I, I know I felt it, you know, when I was doing it and it, it just definitely uh, is something that I believe it actually works. So, so that's mm. secret number one. Mm. 